Whoa, whoa. You guys, don't scare me like that again. Woo. I will spit out my uh, ham and cheese and ham, egg, and cheese crust sandwich from Bur Look where I went. Burger King. Welcome to my channel, Ball Cap Casey. No ball cap again. It's cold. This keeps my head warm. All right. It's Saturday already. Can you believe it? Another week has gone by. Another ride along. You guys want to watch me today? I'm going to eat. That's kind of rude. Eat in front of you. Ah, tough. Tough, tough, tough. Go get your own food. We can eat together. <clears throat> Got me my BK. Something different. I was craving the BK. Um, I like Burger Kings. Why don't Why don't McDonald's have French toast? Do they? Well, they don't have French toast. I like the French toast sticks at Burger King. Dip it in the um, the syrup. It's delicious. So I was craving Burger King. <clears throat> now I'm going to ride along today. I'm going to do some DoorDash. Talk story. Did I write anything down for the week? I wrote a couple things down here, it looks like. Talk about what's been going on for the week. And uh, there we go. Let me eat. I'm going to sign on. Ride with me doing DoorDash if that's what you want to do. Watch me crazy self ride along and see what trouble I can get into and stay out of or whatever happens guys I gotta wake up I need my coffee we'll see it we'll see it a little bit all right got done eating turned on the DoorDash app and in five seconds later they gave me a trip to <laughs> McDonald's all right let's go get it all right <clears throat> The bag was sitting right on the uh, on the counter for me. Hey, there we go. You guys got the sunrise. Oh, my window. I didn't clean it that... <laughs> What's new, huh? What's new? Never clean my window. <clears throat> All right. Saturday morning. <clears throat> got my coffee. Had my Burger King meal, my French toast sticks, and the egg, ham, and cheese. Was it egg, ham, and Yeah, ham, egg, and cheese croissant. Those are good. I don't know, my opinion, I, I think the breakfasts at Burger King are actually better than McDonald's. But McDonald's is a hell of a lot busier. So they're doing something right. And I like McDonald's, um, their coffee. That's the only reason I go there, but I gotta see how much this coffee is here at Burger King. Because McDonald's coffee, man, it used to be a dollar just last year. Man, I know that all the prices have gone up, but man, it's a dollar, a large coffee now. McDonald's a dollar sixty-nine. <clears throat> here anyway. Uh, what is it? April <clears throat> April 15th. I gotta do taxes today, guys. I waited till the last minute to do my taxes. <clears throat> One thing about DoorDash, remember, you know, you gotta pay your gotta pay the taxes. Because you get paid lump sum. I mean, you don't you gotta put it away because you'll be surprised at the end of the year you owe. You can write a lot of stuff off, though. You you got you tax experts can um, let me know, but I, mean, I try to do the best I can. You know, you can write off your gas or um, sorry, not not your gas, but your uh, <clears throat> so much mileage. I forget what it is. Every year the fed the uh, the federal uh, so many cents per mile. I forgot what it is, but. Um, maintenance and, and, and things you buy for your car um, to, to do business you can keep keep those receipts and you can write a lot of that stuff off um, on your on your for your business this is your you're self-employed basically now basically you are we're on a 1099 so this is treated like your business this is my car is my tool 
I need my car for my business here, DoorDash. <clears throat> Providing a service for the community, for the people, for you guys over at DoorDash. So you can write a lot of, get a good tax expert, do your homework, find out what you can write off. I mean, if, if you even buy clothes that you use just for DoorDash, you can write that off. There's so many things you can write off uh, with your taxes. You do it DoorDash. Just make sure you do your homework. And I think my turn's coming up here, so I'll be right back, guys. All right, got that dropped off. So I want to remind you guys, get your taxes done. Find a good tax person. Or if you do them yourself, do your homework. What you can write off, what you can't write off. Save yourself a lot of money. You know, you're providing a good service here for people and you, you, you buy things for your, your car that you need to be able to do your work. Um, every, you know, like I said, clothes, percentage, I think, of your phone you can write off. Everything you use for your job, I believe, I'm still learning too and I do my taxes. While well, I get help, I go to um, H&R Block and they help me out, but... Just do your homework. See what you can write. I'm trying to save you guys some money. So I'm not, a, obviously you can tell I'm not a tax expert. I learn something new every year. And, and then the government changes the tax rules every year. They tweak them a little bit. That's how you tweak things right here with this. This is the tweak motion. They tweak it, everything. So get up to date on the, te your, uh, the laws and the rules. And <clears throat> you know, every year it's a different uh, percentage of... Uh, mileage you can write off, any kind of maintenance you do on your car, anything you need to do your job, you should be able to write that off. So keep that in mind. Hopefully we get some more trips today. So there's the taxes. Got to get my, I got my appointment today at 3 or 1500, 3 p.m. for you civilians. <clears throat> well, hey. I had a big milestone. For me, it's a milestone. 500, 500 subs, subscribers I got. Whoa, <laughs> baby. I don't know why people want to look at my freaking silly face and my goofy videos, but some people do. So thank you, subscribers. Thank all you people that watch my videos and support me. Thanks for staying with me. I'm going to stay with you guys. I'm going to be consistent. I enjoy doing this. It keeps me company. And it gives me a reason why I can talk to myself. Hey, there you go. Look at that guy in the car. He's talking to himself. No, I'm talking to YouTube, man. It's YouTube. Uh, you don't need an excuse. You don't need an ex a reason why. You can talk to yourself, right? Sometimes it's the best advice. Sometimes you need expert advice, right? So you can talk to yourself. Uh, I'm going to go park over here by McDonald's, guys, and <clears throat> try to wake up with this coffee. Not sure. I mean, Burger King, this is a pretty good coffee. For some reason, I think I like a little bit McDonald's a little bit better for some reason. We got the Coca-Cola truck coming in here. Big old Coca-Cola guy. You guys like Coke or Pepsi? I grew up, my mom bought Pepsi when I was a kid, so I grew up on Pepsi. That didn't answer the question, did I? And then I tried a Coke and I was like, whoa. I grew up on Pepsi, but I think I like Coke just a little bit more. All right, guys, I'll be back hopefully with some more trips. Let's go. Just want to show you guys a little bit of the mountain view this morning. Mountain Rainier. I know I've showed it many times on my videos, but what is it? April 15th today, and it's lots of snow. But it's this mountain here has got snow all year long on it, but not that low. I mean, the surrounding those mountains right there, this, uh, the side mountains, those June, July, August, September, there's no snow on those. <clears throat> but yet, there's lots of a lot of snow up there still. That's good. We need it for our water and uh, power around here. We've got hydro dams. 
Well, I sat at McDonald's for like, man, 15, maybe 20 minutes until I got a trip. And I got one right here. You guys can see it right in front of me? Bigfoot Java. So it's 7.30 right now. My second pickup. Uh, I'd say in, in an hour, I usually average about maybe three, three trips. So let's get this one. It's uh, some extreme chocolate or something. I'll see you guys in a bit. Morning. Hey, good morning. I'm picking up DoorDash for Brianna. Just some extreme chocolate or something. Looks yeah. good. I have to come back for me and get one. <laughs> no All right. Well, see, you have a good one. Yeah, see you later. All right. Right back, guys. Let me say I picked it up. Confirm it. All right. I told DoorDash I picked up their extreme chocolate. Looks good. A bunch of Cool Whip on the drink. Oh, I love the Cool Whip. Who likes Cool Whip? Me, me, me. So we got it just about two or three miles away. Down to, uh, what, 152nd Street here. As if you guys know where that's at. Nice, quiet morning so far. Not nice, not cool. I mean, nice and peaceful outside. Not much traffic yet. Usually about 9 30, 10 ish, starts to get on the weekend, gets a little bit crazy. So I try to get all the trips I can early in the morning, but you know, I can only do what DoorDash gives me. There's the sun. You guys can see it peeking, trying to peek through the clouds there. What else is going on? I like sports. They've been talking about the NFL draft. That comes out the end of this month, right? I think you NFL football players, there's the draft coming on April 28th, 29th, and 30th that weekend. So again, at the end of this month. And uh, Seahawks got two first round picks. I think it's number five and a number 20. So that's the, the highest they've ever picked in a very long time. So everyone's, you know, mock drafting, speculating who they're going to pick for their team. <clears throat> but it's baseball season now. What? Mariners have played their 5-8, and eight, I think, their record. So yeah, a little slow start, but long season still. They're not looking too bad. Kellenick is the big... He's hot right now. Kellenick last year, his um, rookie year, year last year, wasn't. He's kind of going back and forth right now. I think they brought him back down to AAA, back and forth to the major league. Just was having a tough time. But right now, in these first couple weeks of baseball, he is on fire. So good for him. And I'm hoping the Mariners get playoffs this year. So you're always hoping for your team to get playoffs, right? And last year they made it. That wild card spot. So we're hoping for bigger and better things this year. nice to have the gate code. Yeah, here it is. Sometimes if people, if the customers forget the gate code, I'm texting them and calling them. They don't answer. I'm like, oh man. So I'm sitting out here for a while and it worked. Amazing. Open says me. 
All right, she was waiting outside, waiting for her drink. That's how I'd be too. I'd be thirsty. That shit, that, that drink looked good. It was a big one, big, <laughs> big chocolate drink with about this much Cool Whip on top. Mm, mm yummy. All right, hopefully we get another trip soon. Stay with me, stay with me. What else we gotta talk about? Talked about a little bit about the Mariners. You guys like baseball? You like baseball? I played baseball when I was young. I ever since I was a little peewee. I don't know what what grade. I played t-ball. You put the if you don't know what t-ball is, it's a little stand. And I must have been I don't know first grade, second, third. I don't know when I started. First, something like something like that. First, second. I can't remember. I was a little guy. Have to think about it here for a second anyway when you're real young you have the stand and you put the ball on top of the stand and then you hit it for a couple of years and then at certain age then you'd have a, a, a pitcher try to hit the pitcher I could never hit I wasn't the best hitter I was a catcher no I was a first baseman and I pitched I could pitch I was a decent pitcher I go to a few baseball games this year. Actually, I like the minor leagues too. I might take you some some minor league games. I know I can't do videos inside there on copyright and everything, but I might take you guys to some uh, minor league baseball games. What else has been going on? What else has been going on? Be right. <laughs> Excuse me, guy. I'll be right back. All right, got another one really quick afterwards, like five minutes after that last one. To Gravity Coffee we go, folks, to get some more coffee. People need their coffee in the morning. Gravity Coffee and Bigfoot Java's seems to be the most popular drive-up coffee jo uh, places around here. So what are you guys doing this weekend? What's been going on with you all? Anything exciting? I'm back from vacation. <clears throat> Still have my voice a little bit. You guys probably hear a little bit of... Uh, my voice is still not 100%. Lost my voice when I was in the Philippines. I couldn't make a lot of videos that I wanted, unfortunately. But I did my best. That's all we can do, right? All we can do in life. Gravity Coffee should be up here somewhere. Let's see, in this Arco? Yeah, there it is. Alright, there's only a couple people in line. And I bet sometimes that the line is way out here. Let's go get this coffee. What's your guys' gas prices? This is here at uh, uh, the Arco AM PM. Unleaded 409. This is the cheapest one I've seen actually around here. 409 unleaded. With cash. If you got cash, you save 10 cents a gallon, huh? 419 with a card. All right. Okay, got those two drinks there at the uh, Gravity Coffee, and we're just going about a mile and a half ish, I think, down the road. There was a uh, what is this, white mocha or something like that, and a, two drinks. Some funky names. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys again. I know I've said that earlier in the video. I got over 500. I think the last time I looked, it was like 540 subscribers. So thank you guys. You guys are nuts for subscribing to me, but I appreciate it. I appreciate every, every single one of you guys watching my watching my videos 
keeps me motivated just doing more even if I just had one subscriber or none I did it I kept I would still do videos but it's a lot better with more people and enjoying it right more the merrier I like this kind of road with the trees lined up like that doesn't that look cool to me it does What else is going on? What else is going on? I talked about some sports. Seattle Mariners playing some baseball. Go watch a baseball. Go to a baseball game, guys. If you've never been to one, it's a good time. You can experience it at least once in your life. Um, NFL draft coming up at the end of the year or the end of this month. Football, NFL football. What else? Oh, yeah. You know, I, you guys know I have a... I go try to work out. I didn't work out yesterday. I feel so guilty because I didn't work out one day. I work out. I try to be consistent and work out every day. Go do a little bit of the treadmill to warm up. And then I try to, you know, flex my muscles. Try to challenge my muscles every day to keep in shape. And I didn't, I didn't go yesterday. But Anytime Fitness, I, I like everything about it. Everything about Anytime Fitness. Except one thing. That's driving me nuts. Can you guys guess what that one thing is? Probably not. Maybe. It's the in-house music. And I know all gyms have it. I think Planet Fitness had it when I was there. Anytime Fitness. I think LA Fitness. You know, they all got their in-house music. Why? <laughs> I want to come in there. I, I go into the gym and I have my own earbuds in. My own music. I want to hear my own program. I want to hear what I'm listening to. My music or my program. Like I said, I my uh, podcast or whatever I'm listening to. Some YouTube video. But the in-house music is so loud in any type of... It like... I can only hear that. I can't even hear my program. So... I asked them, okay, this is a solution. I either get this turned off, turn the volume down. I asked the, the, the employees that work there, like, oh, no, we can't do that. They go, you can go on to the rock. There's a rock, rock house, you know, a website where you can request the certain music you want to play, but you can't turn the music down or you can't turn it off. I'm like, oh. So my next solution is I just got to get some better noise uh, canceling um, headset so I don't hear that in-house music and I can hear what I'm trying to listen to. That's the only thing I had about that Anytime Fitness and you guys you guys know if you went to the gym I think all gyms have their in-house music for some reason. Why is that? Not everybody, not everybody likes that kind of music whatever they're playing and I'm here guys I gotta put the code in I'll be right back to open the gate. What's the code? All right, all right, all right, all right. So we got that dropped off. Those two drinks there, and L one hundred and three was the customer's apartment number. He gave me the uh, the gate code on the instructions, which was nice. And he said, "Buy the big rocks." I said, "I don't see no big rocks," but apparently, I picked the right gate because I got to his I got to his apartment. So I'm sitting over here back at McDonald's. Just drove up over here. Hey, maybe we'll get another one. I park here because it's kind of centrally located between the most popular sites, and McDonald's is probably the most popular place that I go. So why not sit right here, right? I'll see you guys in a bit. Thought I'd bring you guys with me. Going to uh, Emerald City Smoothie. I think I've taken you guys there before. Shoot, I've taken you about... I've taken you there probably many times, huh? A smoothie place. What's your favorite smoothie, folks? What is your favorite smoothie? I haven't had a smoothie in a while. I used to get this one smoothie. Um, I had a job... And then the Emerald... Emerald City Smoothie was right next door. So I got one every morning and it had peanut butter, 
chocolate, some berries in it. No, it was good. It was good. And it kept me full. Man, it had probably a thousand calories in the same thing. It kept me full the whole morning. It was definitely a breakfast and up until lunch. That's all I had. listening to the radio, listening to some sports talk. They're having, a, as I told you guys, the NFL draft. The draft, if you're not familiar with the draft, it's <clears throat> they have it every year. The worst team of that year, the worst record team, gets the first round, gets the first pick, and so on and so forth, right? So you got the worst record, you get the number one pick. And these are college players they're picking. And what you pick a player that's going to make your team better. And, but <laughs> it's a big thing. People like to have the mock ones and pretend that who's going to pick where, who's going to need, who needs this kind of player, who needs that kind of player. And it's, it's fun to do. I know a lot of people are, a lot of people enjoy doing the mock drafts, pretend who's going to pick who, what team, what's my team going to pick? Oh, are they going to trade? And you could trade too. Let's say if I had the number one or number nine pick and I want um, the number five, you talk to the, the team that has number five and you make a deal. It's like, okay, I want your number five. I'll give you my second round pick and the first round pick or whatever. And you make a deal. You could trade your, uh, your, your picks. And I forget how many rounds there are um, in the NFL, uh, the draft, you know. But, you know, the first, the first one, two, and three rounds are the most <clears throat> watched. The first round, of course. All right, let me go pick up this Emerald City smoothie, smoothie <laughs> drink, whatever it is. I'll be right back. Here we go, guys. You've never been there? Emerald City smoothie, nourish your body. All right, let's go. All right, got those smoothies. And while I was in there, in the smoothie place, Emerald City Smoothie, there was another another delivery to pick up. What's this girl doing? All right, so there's three smoothies I have here in my passenger seat. And this one, the first one here, we're going to Les Schwab Tire Center. I've dropped off to this guy a few times. Name is uh, Aiden. He's a regular customer. If you do this enough, you'll you'll uh, you'll learn your regular customers. Like, oh, this person orders all the time. Thank you for your business. Yeah, just driving around this morning, guys. Listen to a little bit of the sports talk radio, whatever's on the radio. Listen to a little bit of country music. Trying to take a nap in between the rides. They've been pretty good today. I think I've had to wait like 15 minutes, 10 minutes for another one or something like that. But there's... In about an hour, every hour if you do DoorDash, you average about Next, this weekend also is there, there's a spring fair, but I decided not to go. My friend asked, hey, you want to go to the spring fair? And I've done a video on that in the past. Spring fair, it's fun. They got some of the, there's, in September, they got the big state fair down here in Puyallup. That's where I'm living right now. But in the springtime, they have it, oh, uh, two weeks 
it's just, it's a smaller version of the big state fair. They got some of the rides, they got some games, they got some animals and some shows. It's fun to walk around. People watching, eating crazy fair food, playing a few games, having fun, right? And then a bunch of vendors and stuff, you know. I kind of like just going in there and watching some of the uh, the demonstrations on uh, this new product of, you know, there's always some kind of kitchen product, some new knives or new, not that I'm going to buy them, it's just kind of neat, the demonstration that they do. The new chamois, this new towel, it can absorb everything. How they hype up their product, how they try to sell it. It should be up here. Yeah, keep going. So I'm going to do that next weekend. I'll probably have a video for you guys on the spring fair. Maybe be playing a few games. Some of the animals there, you know, the pigs and horses, whatever they got. Chickens and probably no chickens. But hey, they might. It's the chicken that laid the golden egg. That's the chicken you need to buy, huh? Let's see, let's swap this way, I think. To the right here, to the right, yep. All right, let me go drop this uh, drink off to this guy here, and then we got two other drinks to drop off. Pretty, you got the pink flowers, you got the cherry blossoms blossoming over here. You guys seen that really quick? A couple of the uh, trees over here. Let's see if I can show you. Pink trees for you and me. Oh, right there. All right, you guys get it. Let me go drop this drink off here. I'll be right back. All right, going to the other person's house to drop off the two other smoothies. Breakfast of champions, right? A couple smoothies. What's your favorite smoothie, guys? So many concoctions you can make smoothies. Mixed berries. Bananas in the smoothie. That's always good, huh? Strawberry banana, that's a good one. <laughs> Put a little bit of whey protein in there. in your smoothie. There you go. See, my turn's coming up here, guys, so I gotta get off the... I think it is. I think this person lives off 75th. There's my gym over here to the left. You guys can see it. Maybe not. Anytime Fitness. They got the loud music going on in there. To me, it's loud. I gotta get some noise-canceling headphones so I can listen to my my programs, my radio. What, what, what's, what do you guys recommend? What kind of noise canceling? I mean, the Bose, but I mean, I, I got a budget here. <laughs> the Bose ones are probably one of the best I hear, huh? B O S E, Bose. Noise canceling headsets. I like to have a wireless one. Bluetooth would be nice. All right, I got to turn, turn left here at the light, I believe, and we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, as you guys can see, DoorDash sent me to IHOP. Not for one order, but for two orders. So not too bad. So let's go pick them up and see how long we got to wait here. And I hop, I hop, you hop. Oh, look at this. Kids eat free. Bring your kids. A kid is what? How old's a kid? I'm not sure how old the kid is, guys. I think 12 and under, but I'm not sure. All right, got the two orders. Pretty good size orders, too. Big bags full of food. One order's got a couple drinks. Other order has no drinks. All right. Down here to the right. Some apartment complex. 
One other thing, you customers, write down the apartment name. I know I've mentioned it before, like this one here. It says Sawyer Trail Townhomes. Write down the um, apartment complex name. Makes it makes it a little easier for the driver. All right, let me go. I gotta put the gate code in, so we'll see you guys in a bit. There it is, 106. Enjoy your food. Okay, I got the one more IHOP here to deliver, right over here. IHOP, it's smelling, ah, oh, it's smelling good. I can smell the butter. I can smell this butter is strong. You guys smell, you guys like the butter smell? Hmm, I do. That smells, that smells good. I have to get all, I don't have any butter. See, no butter on there. All right, I'm gonna call it the, I'm gonna call it the episode, the video for today. I'm done for today. I'm gonna do some more deliveries, but I'm gonna call it for the video. Just wanna remind you guys, don't give up on yourself. Keep moving forward chase your dreams fail your way to success remember if you're not failing in life you're not trying okay so go out there chase your dreams what you ever what you want to get accomplished in your life go do it you can't be you can't go oh i'll start it when you know when i have more money or or when i have more time or uh, no do it now do it now. I want to see action. Go get what you want to get in life. And if you fail a few times, oh, I'm terrible at this. I'm terrible at what I'm doing. You're going to be terrible at the beginning. Just trying to remind you, don't give up. Don't give up. Persistence. We can do it. All right. There you go. A little motivation, hopefully, for you guys today. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for, I'm over 500 subscribers. It's like I should go do something. Coffee. Cheers. Thank you very much, folks. Now what? Let's try to get to that 1,000 subscribers. That'd be awesome. I'll, I'll figure out something. I'll do something special when I get to 1,000 subscribers for y'all. We got time. I got time to think about it. Or you guys can write in comments. Comments what I can do. Alright. Thank you guys very much. Remember, keep moving forward.